thing Shocker fans wanted to hear is what I'm about to say, but Carl Hall took a nasty fall in practice the other day and could miss significant time battling a possible hand injury. We're trying and get confirmation from the team today. So now not only do the Shockers have a retool after a loss to Tennessee, but now have to possibly do it without their biggest defensive player. Even so, the Shockers are still 9-1 and one and continue to draw on audiences around the country. We weren't sure what this team would look like when they came out on the court, but boy, they can look good at times. I like the fact that they're unselfish. Yeah. Again, sharing the basketball. I like the fact that pretty good defensively. We're not great. We've got some deficiencies that we're trying to shore up, but uh, when we're healthy, we're pretty good. When, you know, right now, we're a little banged up. We've got some guys banged up, and hopefully we can get them back. But uh, when we have our full complement of athletes and size and talent and skill, uh, we can be a menace on the defensive end. And uh, we just, we, there's a lot of things that we can improve on. Right? We can improve on our offensive efficiency, our execution, uh, our guarding the basketball, and, and we'll, we'll continue to work on those. Greg Marshall, our guest on Sports Sunday last night. You can see the rest of the sit down interview. Just head to kwch.com. And that's a look at your morning sports. More ominous news this morning continues after the break. Have a good rest of your day.